Joe Beermaster here. I'm going to show you how to put skirting on a park model home or even a trailer. This is your basically your standard type of skirting. There's different ways of doing it using J channel, but this is they sell this as a skirting kit. And basically they use a soffit material. You can use they have stuff for this or you can use soffit material. I'm going to show you that. You have a lower channel, a top channel, and then a cover. So I'm going to show you how each one is done. It'll be a quick version of this. Okay. So here's basically the four pieces. We got the bottom channel here. And you have to cut everything to fit to the size. So if you need a six foot piece, you got to cut it to six foot. There is a lot of room for play in this. So you have the bottle, bottom channel, the upper channel that goes on the deck or the trailer unit. Then you have the cap that slides into that. And then you have the soffit material. Now, one thing you want to notice here, you can see the, the channel down below that was installed a couple years ago then you have soffit material now if you see every third one it's about a foot long each panel there is a vented or variegated one you have to have that at least every third one otherwise mold will form down there you need it to breathe so every third one so when you order soffit material make sure you have enough variegate it so you alternate it every third one at least okay so here's another version you got the variegated and then the solid and they also have an upper lower a cover and then I'll show you how that works now all right so this is already up I'm just showing you the reverse of what is done here So you have the, the bottom track, you have the upper track that holds it, you have these pieces which you cut the size, so you would measure, see there's a lot of play here, so from the bottom to the top is 25, you might want to cut it at 24 because there's, sometimes there's a lot of settling, and these just click in to each other on both sides. You slide them down, make sure the track's nice and clear. And what holds that track in are these large nails. So there's little holes in that track. And you drive them in, that holds the track in nice and firm. And you slide it in. You can see it doesn't have to be exact cut. You could also put a screw in here to hold it, like maybe every fifth one or so. And you can see there's little screws here. That half inch screws, one eighth, to hold the upper guide in. So the nails hold the bottom track in, the screws hold the upper part, these slide in, and you work them in one at a time. And then you cut the top covers to fit, and you jam it in. And that's how it's done, pretty much. So here's a closer look at the bottom track. And there's the nail you would put through and drive it in. If there's no hole in the track, you're going to have to drill one. Otherwise, it'll split. So you got the basic idea. And when it comes to uh, steps, you got to be creative. You got to figure the angles. You got to cut angles. You use shears or tin snips. I use a big scissor metal tin um, scissors and also tin snips to cut everything steps can be tricky then you got your turns you gotta cut them you gotta be creative with that and here you can see this turn there was a cut this was already a pre-made cut for turns but you can cut it out 
snip it on the bottom and then fold it so they overlap each other. And that's it. Any questions, just put them in the comment. This is just a quick version of one way how it's done. The material is relatively cheap and uh, lasts a long time. Joe Beermaster, thanks for watching. And please subscribe.